Hi, uh, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, bundle adjustment. So uh, the problem is uh, we have a bunch of points in 3D that we don't know the position and we project them into uh, a 2D plane of the camera and uh, we took several photos and then uh, we are interested to find the uh, position of the point in 3D and uh, position of the cameras where we uh, uh, took the photos. So uh, this is the uh, projection matrix for uh, uh, our point that we have. So we have a point in homogeneous form, has four, four dimensions, extra one here. Uh, R is the rotation of the matrix. Uh, uh, this is a uh, uh, center of the camera. And K is the intrinsic. So K is 3 by 3, R is 3 by 3 rotation, and is 3 by 4. Uh, three for uh, identity matrix here and one for uh, camera center. A project. This is a basic uh, uh, project from 3D to uh, 2D. So um, we will get uh, U and V and W, in which if we divide U by W and V by W, we will get the uh, uh, pixel value in the image. So our unknowns are rotation of camera, camera center, and uh, position of the point in 3D. And uh, what we have is, uh, is a, a bunch of images in which in each one of them we have several points, a pixel value. And what we're looking for to minimize the distance between our observation or data that we have, pixel values, minus by... <coughs> Uh, reprojected point from 3D. So if I change the uh, R, C, and X, I will get a different U, V, and W. So <clears throat> we're looking for uh, rotation and uh, translation and position of the point such that the distance in the image that we already have uh, and uh, projection uh, of that point in 3D is minimized. So uh, we are uh, we have a, a minimization problem. We try to minimize it for every point that we have. So we call it a function f, which is a function of uh, position of the point, translation, and uh, rotation. And rotation is a, a function of a quaternion. So instead of a, a three by three matrix, we can use a four by a one matrix uh, as a quaternion. And uh, uh, compute the uh, rotation. So this is our function f, which is obviously nonlinear. We have lots of nonlinear operation like uh, uh, division here. And we try to uh, uh, minimize b, uh, which is the point that we have in the image plane, the pixel value, minus by this uh, what this function compute, which is the projection of the point with uh, these parameters. So if uh, we find a Q, C, and X that uh, minimize uh, this, we can solve the problem. So we have a nonlinear least square problem. We have to uh, uh, find a minimum. So we use, uh, for instance, Gauss-Newton approach, which is a iterative approach. And uh, we start from arbitrary point. We compute the delta X, how much we should change the X multiple by error function e uh, what we compute here and uh, we get the next point so if we don't know how do we get this jacobians and uh, the others uh, have a look at my other video uh, gauss newton for uh, nonlinear least square well, about how uh, we get this okay so uh, what do we need now is uh, j so F is a mapping from uh, N, uh, Rn to Rm. So the Jacobian has such a form. Uh, the derivative of first output relative to R variables. Uh, derivative of second uh, output relative to uh, all variables and so on. So let's build J. So as I said, derivative of first output relative to uh, all variables. What are the variables? Camera, rotation, translation, and position of the point in 3D. 
These are three unknowns variable that we have. And because every point give us uh, one U and V, which are pixel values, we have actually two rows here. I uh, put them in uh, one uh, phrase here. So uh, derivative of first output uh, is relative to uh, a camera rotation. We can use a chain rule for camera rotation because uh, it's not direct parameters of a quaternion, but a direct of rotation and then a, a rotation relative to quaternion. So we have uh, two rows for uh, U and V. Uh, then we have rotation, which is a three by three. So we have nine parameters and uh, quaternion has Q0 to Q3. Uh, four parameters so uh, this is nine by four this is uh, two uh, this is this has nine and this is nine by four okay so uh, derivative of first output relative to camera translation which has uh, three parameters x y z <coughs> and we have as I said two rows one for u one for v and uh, then uh, derivative of that relative to X position of the point in 3D space. So uh, that's the way we fill up the uh, uh, Jacobian. Let's uh, uh, have a simple example here. We have uh, four points in 3D and three cameras. And as you can see, not all of them been projected to all the cameras. So point one is not visible to camera three, or point four is not visible to camera one. So. Uh, to compute the J, I have to compute the derivative of first output, which is the uh, a point projected in camera number one, relative to all variables. What are the all variables? Variables are the position of all the cameras, rotation, translation, and also uh, position of the point. So as you can see, if I change the position of camera number one, the, the projection of the point in camera number one, which is here, gonna change. But if I change camera number two, nothing gonna happen to this projected point. So it's zero, zero. If I also change the position of point number one, the, the, the projected uh, value here, the U and V, the pixel value gonna change. But if the point number two, if I move it to the right or left or up and down, the projection of the point number one in camera number one is not gonna have any changes so it's a zero 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 and uh, you can just uh, follow this and every time uh, you can check it for every uh, parameters that you have effect on the projection of the point if you have something you have to put it this otherwise it's zero okay so this is our J uh, our X which is our variable Rotation, uh, translation, and uh, position of the point in 3D and has such a following structure. Uh, we call this part A, we call this part B. This is for uh, uh, motion, and this is called for structure, structure of the point and the motion of the cameras. That's why it's called structure from motion also. So delta x is uh, j transpose j uh, inverse multiple by j transpose multiple by uh, uh, the next point going to be multiplied by uh, error function. So, uh, <clears throat> and, and, and what is error function? Error function is a distance between the point that we have, the u and v pixel value, minus by uh, our function that we just uh, mentioned with uh, these parameters. So b minus f, b minus f. So this is our delta x. This matrix is really, really huge. And uh, for instance, in our case, you can see it's a, a number of rows uh, for only four points and three cameras. We have uh, 12 multiple by two because uh, we have uh, U and V. Every point give us two uh, points in a camera. Uh, multiple by uh, 18, we have a relatively huge matrix here only for limited number of parameters and 
usually we have uh, thousands of points uh, project using the cameras and like hundreds of cameras so it's going to be really really huge so as you can see j uh, is uh, sparse it has lots of zeros and uh, also j transpose j so this is j transpose j if you uh, multiply j by j transpose by j and as you can see here it's symmetric so transpose of this is going to be again the same so also this matrix here on the right hand side so <clears throat> here i have two set of uh three set of variables actually i have something for devil use which are the points i have camera parameters and i have a bunch of numbers here v this comes from a multiplication of a jacobian transpose by itself so i have lots of zeros here on the main diagonal i have some parameters and lots of zeros and uh, some parameters here so uh, the delta x is jtj inverse uh, jt multiple by error i multiple both side by jtj so jtj delta x is uh, jt uh, multiple by error uh, exactly uh, what we have here the error is distance between uh, project not a point and function value okay so uh, and as I said delta x uh, is consists of two part uh, parameters for camera and parameters for a point I call them uh, a and b and uh, uh, jtj has such a structure u w w transpose v now if I multiply both sides by this matrix here I multiple them by this matrix uh, you can see on the left hand side I will get this matrix multiple by uh, delta A delta B and as you can see because we have a zero here if I multiply this by this I only get uh, delta A so multiplying this by this will give me epsilon A which as you can see here we have only camera parameters and if I multiply this by this, we only get uh, um, points parameter. So uh, by uh, using this trick and uh, multiplying both sides by this matrix, I can uh, separate my update into two uh, different uh, set of parameters. We have only cameras and we have uh, only points. Uh, so again that's why it's called structure from motion because we have a structure when we have motion a structure position of the point 3d and motion camera rotation and translation so i can easily decouple them and compute the uh, update which is uh, uh, computationally feasible uh, because this matrix uh, is, is pretty huge and computing the inverse is uh, very difficult and computationally very expensive so by using this trick i can uh, do it uh, uh, cheaply and uh, we can uh, compute this uh, iteratively until we get the next point next point until the error is smaller than a value uh, thank you